I don't have all the answers. Sometimes you're going to have to make a buying decision with a lot of unknowns. Carrie, that's the topic of your video today. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks, this is a show where I work with you one-on-one. -on -one. You get me, and it's actually not exactly one-on-one, -on -one, it's me and my team, right? You get me and my team. We're going to analyze properties for you. We're going to put in offers for you. If you've gone and talked to other sellers and you want our feedback, we're going to give it to you. And that's what we're doing today, right? My guy, Carrie, man, I've worked with Carrie. Carrie, bro, we've done a bunch of properties together. We've looked at a lot of stuff. And you sent me this other one that you were talking to the uh, listing agent directly. 3469 East 143rd Cleveland 44120. It's been on the market for a little bit. 77 days. It's active at $45,000. And you have been negotiating with the Century 21 agent who listed this house, right? You have got him to agree uh, to do a $38,000 cash offer. Now, we have one photo, just this photo right here. Let me pull it up a little bit bigger for everybody. All right. We got just this one photograph right here. Now, uh, you had talked to that agent. He might uh, possibly do... Uh, a walkthrough for you, right? And you wanted to get my thoughts on this property. And there's going to be some unknowns, man. The first unknown is the neighborhood. You've managed to to find a property in like a very, very, very peculiar location. All right. This is like extremely peculiar, right? There, we talk about like street by street basis, right? Here's what we got going on. Okay. Over here, we got Shaker Heights. This is cool. Shaker Heights is badass. Shaker Heights is nice. Right here, Mount Pleasant, Union Avenue, this is fucking horrible, right? This is like literally like the worst possible neighborhood, right? It's, it's, it's terrible. Now, you are very, very close, right? So this is like you could walk your dog from here to here, and this is super sketchy, super rough, super tough, super crazy, right? But you could also walk your dog over to here. This is Shaker, and, you know, this is technically Cleveland, like Milverton Road, and we do have a few properties on this street, right? These are pretty good. So, dude, you are, like, right there, man. That's, that's what I'm saying. This can go either way, right? You go one direction, it gets a lot better. You go the other direction, it gets a lot worse, man. So as far as your location goes, you're guesstimating that it's a D-class neighborhood. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's a D. Maybe it's an F. Like, how do you really classify that, bro? Because it's, like, literally going to change. Like, all good. And then this, like, little section right here, we're like, okay, the overflow, it's still pretty nice. But then it just progressively gets worse. And then, like, like you're over here. So, like... I mean, I really don't uh, know how to, like, quantify that for you, right? That's, like, one of those unknowns, man. Because, like, if the property was, like, here, I would say it's, like, dude, it's super F class. So, like, you're just very, very close. So one of your questions to me is, like, do I think the neighborhood's going to improve, stay the same, or get worse? I don't have any reasonable uh, data or anything to tell me it's going to get better. And... You know, it's just, it, it's very hit or miss. Like, if you go to this particular property and you and you took a direction where you came from this way, you might be the, under the impression that, oh, you're in a pretty nice neighborhood. There's nothing to worry about. But then likewise, if you had to come from this way to get to it, you you just traveled through an entire war zone. So you're, you're pretty well uh, concerned. So as far as, like, the location, I mean, I've, I've done a lot of videos for you, and I've seen you turn down better uh less risky deals than this one so like if you're asking me personally i think it's rough i probably would shy away from this particular one but it, it's really hard to say bro like i said there's like unknowns because like you're like so close to the middle you go this way it's cool you go that way it's rough so you got to understand that as far as uh, another question you had for me you said you're thinking about ten thousand dollars for the reno well that's another unknown right we don't really know 
specifically what's going on. I'll tell you this. This is a big old classic duplex, right? 2-1. We could probably get, you know, 650 to 750 is going to be the rental range. If you're in a neighborhood like this, no questions asked. You got to go Section 8, bro. You got to do the Section 8, okay? You got to go Section 8. You'll be 650, 750. Depending on the condition, like, it's going to take approximately 15K per unit cosmetically to get these up to snuff. Like, if they're rough, you know, to go in, get updated kitchen, updated bath, refinish all the hardwoods, repaint all the walls, repaint all the trim, make sure we have all new windows so we can get Section 8 approved. You're going to be looking at approximately $15,000 per unit. So you very well could have a $30,000 cosmetic renovation on your hands prior to worrying about your big ticket items, which is like a roof. It's probably a six or $7,000 roof. Furnaces, if you need to do those, they're about 3 k a piece. They last about 30 years. Hot water tanks, they cost about $1,000. They last about 15 years. So you got some unknowns with your reno budget. But to, to go in with no pictures, not seeing the unit and assume, because you, you would assume to me you think you only need to put in about 10 k in reno. I don't, I don't see that. I don't see why... It would only need to be about 5K per unit. Because, like I said, man, to get that 650 to 750, get that nice Section 8 tenant, if we're just taking a ugly, nasty unit, we got to update the kitchens and the baths, bro. We're looking at 15K per unit, and that's cosmetic right there. That's also going to include windows. And that's just cosmetic right there. But that doesn't include the roof, the hot water tank, the furnace, right? So I think your renovations are going to cost more than you're originally anticipating. So if we're just at the 30 that I had talked about, that's going to be like, what do you have here? You have 38 plus my 30. That's $68,000. If I'm going to be all into a duplex minimum $68,000 here in the Cleveland market, I personally am not going to do it on this particular street. I am not going to want to be all in for 68k when i am this close to the mount pleasant neighborhood on union avenue when i'm that close to what i would consider to be a pure war zone i don't really want to do it man like yes if you go over here i do think some properties like i said we have properties right here like, okay we do have properties here that are very very nice they rent for like 750 800 but what you have to understand is literally in the backyard of these properties it is Shaker Heights. So you're literally looking into Shaker Heights. But again, man, this is like super transitional neighborhood, right? So uh, you got you to gotta factor that in. So I guess the question is, is to you, like, how do you quantify that risk? How do you feel about it, right? As far as like the normal charts that I would put up here, I'm not going to put one up for you because I can't really give you uh, an estimate, man, because I, I really think it could go one way or it could go the other way. It, it's... It, it's really going to be hit or miss, man. So you're going to have to make that decision. But me just giving you my personal opinion, I don't think I'd want to be into that duplex for that much money uh, right here. I think there are better properties out there, which I'm going to show you one next. But first, uh, let's get a quick word in from the sponsors of today's show. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reap is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. All right, Carrie, welcome back. Now, I got another one on the screen for you, man. This was been on the market for a long time, dude, 122 days, 7204 Clark Ave, Cleveland, 
four for one hundred two. This is listed at sixty four thousand nine hundred dollars. Let me show you the photos. We don't have too many to go off of. Just some exterior photos. Now, as far as neighborhood goes, right? If I'm investing in transitional type neighborhoods, man, I, I'm definitely feeling more comfortable here in Clark. Okay. This is very, very close to um, the Metro Health Campus, right? We've talked about this before. Billion dollars going into that neighborhood, right? Metro Health, they're doing it to their campus. They're also doing it to surrounding neighborhoods, right? They're putting in uh, a bunch of affordable housing. So we're talking about comparing this rough neighborhood to the other rough neighborhood. I have reasonable data to show me that there is serious money getting pumped into this particular neighborhood. So if I'm looking at both these properties, I got to go in with some unknowns. I, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know if in 10 years the prices are going to be different. But if I'm looking at two neighborhoods that are both pretty sketchy right now, and I know one's getting a billion dollars and the other ain't getting shit, I'm going to bet on the one that's getting a billion dollars, right? So there's that. As far as like the sketchiness of the neighborhoods, dude. This one is bordering some very, very nice neighborhoods to the north, Ohio City, Detroit, Shoreway, uh, Gordon Square, stuff like that. In addition, on the south, it just goes right to a, you know, just classic C-class neighborhood, which isn't too bad. And as far as like performance wise, like we have just hundreds of duplexes in, in neighborhoods like this. And, you know, you go section eight, it alleviates a lot of the issues. But what's nice with this is under no circumstances do you have to drive through like a pure battlefield, a pure war zone, like a super sketchy neighborhood. Like, you know, you go 10 streets to the west, it's it's going to be pretty much the same as the house, right? It, it, so it's more consistent, right? Now, as far as the rents, what they could be in a unit like this, because currently right now, there's two tenants paying four fifty, but these are seven hundred fifty dollar units. Okay, so you could be bringing in fifteen hundred dollars a month or eighteen thousand dollars a year. Now, if you're bringing in fifteen hundred a month, bro, you know after we back out all the normal expenses, the stuff I would anticipate, and again, this would be like with a Section Eight tenant in there, right? You definitely got to go Section Eight to alleviate your risk. I think you'd be spending an average of six ninety three, which is going to leave you with a net operating income of $807 or $9,684 a year. Now, as far as price goes, they have it listed for $64,900. It's been on the market for 122 days. The units are $750 units, man. What gives? Why isn't it selling? Well, currently, they got the tenants. They're paying $450, bro. They're paying $450, so that's lower. So you got to get those rents up. Now, you don't have to necessarily, this is another thing, right? This is going to be some more unknowns, right? Because how do we get, how do we get from 450 a unit to 750 a unit, right? The way we get there, I can't exactly predict that for you, right? There's going to be a few different scenarios, right? One scenario, best case scenario, bro. Best case scenario, you just slowly increase those tenants' rent up. Eventually, you get to 750 a piece. They never move out. You don't have to do any renovations. If you picked it up at 45,000, which is what I think you need to try to pick this up at, right? The reason I want to pick it up at 45 is because we're not getting those $750 units, right? So nobody else is looking at this. Nobody else is excited about this, right? Because there are inherent risks. I don't know if we can get it up to 750 unit without a rehab. Honestly, we probably can't because the odds are good that at least one of them is going to move out during those dramatic rental increases. But if you picked it up at $45,000 and you're able to slowly increase those rents, the building would be a 22 cap. You'd only need to put down 11250 And after you pay off your mortgage and all that jazz, it's a 71% cash on cash return. So if the deal went down like that, if you somehow were able to get in there and convince the seller to sell it to you for 45 because no one else is bidding on it, clearly 122 days on the market, the tenants are paying tiny, tiny rent right now. And if you got lucky enough to where we maybe went up 100 this year, 100 next year, 100 the following year, and them tenants never moved out, Dude, you made a killing, right? But it's real estate. We don't know if that's going to happen. There's going to be unknowns. What if uh, we try to increase the rent 100 bucks and both tenants move out? Well, we don't have any many pictures, right? We don't have pictures of the inside of the unit. But based on the fact that the house itself is uh, looking a little old, looking a little rough, we have two tenants in there currently paying well below market rate. I'm going to guess those units are rough, dude. I'm going to guess they're tough. And just like I told you before, 
You give me a, a building this size with the baseline of just telling me the unit's probably fucked up and I need to renovate the unit to get it Section 8 approved, get that maximum rent, 750 make it look special. Well, we're talking 15K, bro. We're talking 15K to do the floors, the walls, the kitchen, the bath, the windows. We're looking at 15 Gs, right? So maybe you pick it up at 45, and maybe you got to spend 30 uh, to eventually get to that uh, that maximum rent. Maybe it falls somewhere in the middle, bro. Maybe uh, one of the tenants bounces, the other tenant stays. Maybe you go up 100 bucks, uh, they both stay, and then the next year you go up another 100 bucks. one moves, one doesn't, right? There's going to be some unknowns, man. You know what you got right now, which is 450 per unit. You know you got a D-class neighborhood right now. You know there's a billion bucks coming into the neighborhood, right? So what you need to do, you need to factor in all those risks, all those unknowns. If I'm looking at both of these deals, no questions asked, bro. I am picking this one up. I would pick this one up at 64.9 before I'd pick the other one up at 38. Uh, but I don't think you need to spend 64.9. I'd like to see you get it down for 45. But I don't know if the seller is going to take that offer. I would say we got a good chance at getting a low ball offer accepted because, man, 122 days on the market, that is a long time on the market. And I also know renting these units to these tenants out at 450. He's not making a killing off of this, right? That's that's far below, uh, you know, fair market rent, and you know, with the expenses you gotta have, you know, it's it's tough, man. It's tough to make a uh, profit like that, right? I mean, I've calculated for you almost seven hundred dollars in expenses, right? Well, that's only like nine hundred dollars in rent. I mean, come on, man, that's very very tough. But how we get from point A, which is where we're at today, to point B which is bringing in $1,500 a month, which is what the property should do for you for the long term. You know, there's a lot of unknowns on that road, bro. You're going to have to to evaluate your risk. And, uh, you know, I can't predict it for you, right? It could go one way. It could go the other way. This is a game of scale. Thing is, like, you know, nobody can guess exactly how this will go. You know, the idea is you do like 10 deals or 30 deals or 40 deals or 50 deals all similar uh, to this one and, you know, kind of all averages out. But if you're asking me right now what's more likely, uh, you having to renovate one or both of these units to get to 1500 versus you having to renovate nothing and getting that 71% cash on cash return, my money's going to be on you're going to be doing a little bit of renos, brother. But again, it can go either way. So that's my thoughts on both of these properties. If I'm you, I'm going this one over the other one all day. I, I think the other one, you know, even though they both got unknowns, I think the other one is just, I don't know, man, that's, that's too risky. That's too sketchy. That could really go either way. I am, you know, more confident in this particular neighborhood, and I'm more confident and how the tenant base is going to react because I don't walk down the street in one direction and the whole world changes, right? So that's why I like this one better. And that's why I think we should probably try to get aggressive and try to make a move on this particular property. But it's only totally up to you, man. Let us know. Everyone else, if you're interested in working with us one-on-one -on -one like my man Carrie does, what I want you guys to do is go to HoltonWise.com. Click the property search for sale tab and scroll on down to the MLS search and analysis show. And we have many packages. My man Kerry's working off this 10 property package. This ain't the first video I've done for him. I mentioned it earlier. We've done a lot of, a lot of videos, a lot of deals, analyzed a lot of things together. So we kind of got a good little shorthand going here. I know what he's trying to do. And, you know, we're bouncing ideas off of each other. That's, that's what works uh, the best, right? We have other packages under this where, you know, we could just analyze one property, right? So the, uh, what the heck was the address on that one? The 143rd, the East 143rd property. If Kerry was just a random guy off the street and he was thinking about buying that, he could purchase a package and just have me analyze that, give my thoughts on that, and then boom, that, that ends our relationship. We're done, which you guys could do. But I think the better move, though, is definitely the 10 property package because it allows us to go back and forth with each other and really get to know – you know, each other's wants, needs, goals, and like, you know, we could shift gears, and I kind of understand, like, the types of properties he's gravitating towards, and, and things of that nature, and another thing is, too, all the deals we talk about, they're not all necessarily, you know, going to get done, right, like the Clark Avenue property, I'd love to see Kerry get it at $45,000, but number one, I don't own the house, number two, I'm not the listing agent, 
So there's other people out there that could very well possibly be bidding on that house that they got in the works. They're not going to tell me. That's not my business, number one. Number two, I can't tell you for a fact that the seller's going to take $45,000. i am not in that seller's head, right? That's the seller's decision, right? Unless we're willing to just pay list price for every single property we see, there's going to be some swings and misses. But that's that's why this package works good. That's why the 10 property package works good. It takes time to get the right property matched with you for the price that it makes sense to go ahead and, you know, cover the risks associated with a lot of the unknowns to these deals, guys. So that's it, man. That's my spiel. That's all I got for today's show, folks. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.